Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel and welcome to another kind of declutter series. I'm going to split this into two videos, not four, two. So it's um, not really a series, but I recently just did way, way too much shopping and bought a crap ton of makeup. Like seriously, I did some damage. I will post my haul video down below if you want to see all the goodies I got. But basically, I need to make a room in my um, vanity to put all this new stuff. So I like to declutter two to three times a year. I don't like to have things in my collection just to have them. I like to have things that I'm either using or like limited edition things that I'm actually collecting like MAC limited edition things and things like that. So, um, I'm doing another declutter. Um, it's not as big as, like, my other declutters. I'm not as thorough. Like, I don't get rid of any foundations or primers. Just gonna warn you right now, um, but I do get rid of quite a bit of lip products and, like, bronzers and just some other things. So, here's part one, and then, like I said, there will be a part two. Two, but if you guys want to see my declutter for part one, then just keep on watching. Bye okay, guys. so this big, huge Sephora bag is literally stuffed full with brand new makeup that I'm going to try and squeeze into my collection. So it's definitely time to declutter some older stuff I'm not using or just products that um, it's time to get rid of and um, make room for the new stuff. I don't like having things in my collection if I'm not using them. I like um, a smaller-ish collection um, of things that I really love and use. I mean, definitely. This is not small. I mean, if you saw that bag, you'll know that um, I love makeup, but um, I don't like to keep things just to keep things. So, we are going to start with foundation and primers. I honestly don't think I'm going to get rid of like anything out of here, but we'll see. So, It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream, I love. Maybelline Dream Velvet, I love. Let me zoom you in a little bit here. Um, Maybelline BB Cream, I love. Maybelline Matte and Poreless is definitely keeping. Too Faced Born This Way, keeping. Elf um, Hydrating Foundation Stick, keeping. Makeup Forever HD, keeping. Um, L'Oreal True Match, keeping. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, definitely keeping. This one I might get rid of. I have had it for quite a while, and last time I used it, I noticed that it's just not, there's just not as much in there as um, there was before. So I think it is time to give this one um, a toss. Throw this in my empties bin because um, it was pretty dried up. So I will be getting rid of the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, but I did really like this foundation. Um, let's see, was that all my foundations? No. The Ulta Demi Matte Foundation, I actually really enjoyed, so I'm going to keep that. And I think that, oh, no, one more. NARS um, Velvet Matte Skin Tint, definitely keeping that. So I think that's all the foundations. And I'm trying to decide, like, how I want to do this, like, all this makeup. So I don't have any new foundations. Did I get any new primers? I don't think I got any new primers either. So that makes it really easy. Oh, this is also a foundation. This is the Estee Lauder, what are you even called? It's called the Double Wear, but it's, like, something else. It's not, like, obviously the Double Wear in the bottle. Um, but I just got this in Ipsy, so I'm going to keep that as well. So as far as primers go, I keep my smaller primers in this little thing here. Um, these are just like travel primers that kind of get lost in here. Um, and I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. Hourglass, I love. L'Oreal Magic Lumi, I love. Makeup Forever Hydrating, I love. That one I like. Yep, so I don't think I'm going to get rid of any primers either. So sorry, we're starting off really, really boring. But I haven't gotten anything new from these guys, um, so I am going to keep this the same, but I am going to clean this out and reorganize a little bit. I will be getting rid of this. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, like priming blur stick, or what is it called? It's just a blur stick, but I did not like this at all, so I'm going to like declutter this from collection, but you still might see this in an upcoming um, products I regret buying video, because um, I did not like this. So let me go grab some Clark wipes, clean this out, and uh, put all this stuff back. So 
I am also going to be redoing my everyday makeup drawer, so I'm just gonna pull a couple things out in each category as I go to fill up my everyday makeup drawer. So I'm going to pull out the Ulta Demi Matte Foundation. Um, this is always in my everyday makeup drawer. I love this for work every day. And then I'm also gonna pull out the Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer for my everyday makeup as well. I forgot I'm also gonna pull out this Estee Lauder one because I did just get this in an Ipsy bag and I'm still trying this out a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull that one out. But that is everything for foundation and primers. Next up is it concealers. Um, so we're gonna go through these fairly quickly. Definitely keeping my Smashbox contour sticks. I love those. I love the Makeup Forever HD concealer. I'm gonna keep that. Um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer I love and it is almost gone so I'm definitely going to hold on to this one. Um, this L'Oreal one I'm just going to toss. Um, I have, there's not too much left in it and I just wasn't a huge fan of it so I just think it's time that I let that go. I'm never reaching for that one anymore. Maybelline Fit Me definitely keeping the Tarte shape tape definitely keeping um this la girl one i'm gonna try and pass on it's just in a shade that is not too right for me um it's in the shade classic ivory and i've only used it a couple times but it's just it's just not quite right for me so i'm gonna pass this one on the rimmel perfect match i'm gonna hold on to um cover girl deep puffer i'm gonna hold on to i actually might get rid of this rimmel one I like it, but I don't love it, and I have so many, so I think I will be passing this one along. NYX HD, definitely keeping L'Oreal Magic Lumi Pen. I love the Maybelline Master Concealer. I really enjoy. I have a bunch of little concealer samples from IT Cosmetics. I'm going to hold on to... I think all of these, they're all different shades. This is the like illumination one and then I have light and medium. So I'm gonna hold on to all those. The Benefit Boing, I really like this for, um, you know, um, blemishes and things like that. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. The Ulta Full Coverage Concealer is almost gone. I think it's just time that I get rid of this. I did really like this concealer though. I almost used it up. I'll probably put this in an empties video. Um, but yeah, this was a really nice concealer. And then the Urban Decay Naked Skin I am gonna hold on to as well. And for my everyday makeup drawer, I think I'm gonna pull out the IT Cosmetics Travel Size Bye Bye Under Eye in Light. I'm gonna pull out, um, let's see, I'm gonna do the NYX HD Concealer as well. So I'm gonna pull those two out to try and use up more this month. And then we're gonna put all these back. And I don't think I got any new concealers, so, um, did I? No, I don't think I got any new concealers, so this drawer is perfect just like that. So next, let's see, let's do color correctors. I have a bunch of color correctors, and I don't use, like, half of these. Um, I did film a video where I tested out a bunch of color correctors. I will link that down below, drugstore color correctors. Um, so that's why I have so many, and I just don't use like nearly any of these so it's time to pass a bunch of these on the first ones I'm gonna pass along are these whoop, are these two from Essence they're not bad at all again I just have so many um, and these were you know kind of middle of the road for me there's ones I definitely like better so I am gonna try and pass these guys along same goes for this wet and wild coverall um, not a bad little color correcting wheel just wasn't one of my favorites so I will be passing this one along this physicians formula cushion um, I think I'm gonna pass this one along too again it's not a bad product um, it's just gotten a little bit dried up and um, it just, again, wasn't my favorite, so I'm going to probably just toss this because it's pretty dried up. Let's see, this NYX Dark Circle Corrector is so, so old. Um, it's just time that I throw this away, but this is definitely 
Ugh, it looks so gross. Um, this is definitely a really, really nice color corrector, though. I do highly recommend this, but it's just old, and it's time to get rid of that. This Ulta one, I absolutely hated. Um, I'm going to declutter this from my collection, but I'm going to save it for a products I regret buying video. Um, so I have two green color correctors. I don't need to keep both of these. Both of these are really, really good color correctors, but I think I like the LA Girl one just slightly more than the NYX, so I'm going to pass the NYX on to a family member um, and hold on to the LA Girl. And then these three were my favorite um, color correctors from that video. I definitely don't need to keep all of these. <clears throat> I really like the Maybelline. Um, I'm going to hold on to that one and then I'm going to hold on to the NYX as well. And I think I'm going to pass on the L'Oreal color corrector. Not that it was a bad color corrector or anything, it's just I liked other ones more and I don't need that many in my collection so I'm going to be passing this one along. And then for my everyday makeup drawer I'm going to pull out this uh, NYX one to keep in there, and then I'm gonna put the rest back in my collection. Okay, I think I'm gonna knock out lip stuff next because I got a ton of new lip products and that one's gonna be a tough one. So let's just go ahead and get that one over with. So I'm gonna pull out all of my existing lip products and we will start trying to get rid of some and then working in my new stuff I got. Okay, so I'm going to try and go through this pretty quickly. I have a good idea on what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of, I think. Um, so I'm definitely going to hold on to my two face melted lipsticks. I love those. My two Kat Von D, actually I have a third. Where is the third? just a little guy here it is I'm gonna keep all these and I did purchase one new Kat Von D in Lolita 2 so I'm gonna work this guy into my collection so these do I just have three of these I thought I had four but I'm only seeing three um, these L'Oreal lip paints I I don't know. I like these. I don't love these. The formula is a little bit goopy um, and thick for my liking. I don't know. I never reach for these. I did do a review on them if you want to see that. I'll link it down below. But yeah, I think I'm just going to pass these along. I never ever reach for these. I'm pretty certain that I will not miss them. Um, Oh, this is so hard. I hate decluttering. Maybe I should keep one. Should I keep one? Maybe I should keep one. Maybe I'll keep this one. Um, 312 Nude Star. I definitely will not ever wear the dark one. Yeah, I'm going to keep 312 Nude Star, which is this one, and then get rid of... Um, 326 Sultry Sangria and 314 Spicy Blush. Okay, so I have a bunch of NYX Liquid Suede's. Oh, I knew I had a fourth one. This one is 312 Topless, and again, I think I'll get rid of this one too. This is a really funky color. It's really pretty. It's just not something that um, you know, I'm gonna wear on an everyday basis, so I'm gonna pass that one along too. So I have a bunch of NYX liquid suede's. Um, I did a lip swatch on these. I'll link that down below. Hopefully I can remember to link all these videos down below for you guys that I'm mentioning. But I'm gonna keep most of these because I love this formula, but there's a few colors in here that I can part with. This one is so pretty for like summer but I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear this I just don't have anything like it though um I am gonna hold on to it for this summer because I have nothing like this um it's a really unique pretty shade so I will be holding on to that one um this one is one of my favorites this is soft spoken I'm definitely gonna keep that I love this hot pink one this one is in 
pink less. I'm going to hold on to that. Um, I love this one as well. This one is in vintage. I'm going to hold on to that. This one definitely going to get rid of. This is in foul mouth. Just a really weird bluish purple color I'm never going to wear. So I'm going to pass that on. This one in cherry skies. It's really pretty. I think I'm going to hold on to that one. Um, let's see. This is Brooklyn Thorn. I think this is really like similar to this one. Yeah. I just don't wear colors like this. It's so just like gray and I don't know. I don't think I'll ever wear that. So I'm going to pass this one along as well. And then, let's see, this one is tea and cookies, and I might pass this one along as well. I just never wear pinks. Like, ever. Um, it is pretty, though. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. So I don't have that many pinks, probably because I never wear them. But I am going to hold on to that one for now. See, MAC lipsticks, I'm definitely going to keep all of them. And I did get a few new MAC lipsticks, so I'm going to open those up right now. Two of the Mariah Carey MAC lip glosses, definitely keeping... Um, Anastasia keeping. I have another Anastasia. Here it is right here. I'm going to keep both of these guys. Um, all my Ofra liquid lipsticks, I'm going to hold on to these NYX Intense Glosses. I've like never worn these. This was like a little holiday gift set that I got. Um, but they're just so thick and goopy and like with intense colors like this like I'm scared to wear them like as a gloss because they just get everywhere so unfortunately I think I'm just gonna pass these along um I never ever got for them so it's just time to pass those along um buxom I am keeping these two bite beauty I am keeping and then I got a couple new bite beauty so let me open these up and get these in here <laughs> Okay, so these CoverGirl Kitty Cat Matte Lipsticks, I think I'm going to keep all these. I just recently decluttered a lot of these, and I really like these. I like these colors a lot. I like the packaging of these. I like the formula of these, so I am going to hold on to all of those guys. These NARS crayons have made it through, like, every one of my declutters. I never, ever reach for them. It's time to get rid of them. Uh, same with this Lord & Berry lip crayon. Never reach for it. Time to get rid of it. Uh, same with this Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. Um, I always say, well, oh, that's so pretty. See, I swatch things and I'm like, no, but you might wear that. That would be really nice to have, um, you can't see that, I'm sorry, <laughs> that would be really nice to have like in my purse, because it's not like super pigmented, so I think I actually am going to hold on to this Neutrogena one, and I'm going to throw that in my purse and hopefully get some more use out of it in there. Um, let's see, both of these Sephora ones, I'm going to keep, I really like these. This Smashbox one, I absolutely love, I'm going to hold on to that. This is another Ofra. I'm going to hold on to these little samples, Marc Jacobs and Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown I'm going to hold on to um, this Mana Kadar. What do I want to do with you? This is really pretty, and I like the formula of this. I'm going to hold on to that, and I'm going to pull it out and put it in my everyday makeup drawer. So hopefully I'll get some more use out of that. This Velvet 59 gloss, I really like. I'm going to hold on to that. This Be a Bombshell, obviously, I have loved. Um, it's just getting old. I've had it for quite a while. It's just so pretty, like, around the holidays and stuff. But I think it's just time that I throw this out because I've had it for a super Super long time, and um, I think it's just time. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, this Buxom one, I think I'll probably hold on to it. I don't reach for it too often. Kind of sheer, actually. Have I even ever worn this? I don't even know where I got this, honestly. 
I think I'm gonna pass this on. It looks kind of weird. I might have had it for a really long time. Not pass it on, but toss it. It looks a little funky to me. And I don't know if I've ever worn it, so I'm just gonna toss that. This Tardis uh, lip paint I'm going to keep. Too Faced um, Sweet Peach Gloss I'm going to keep. And then this one I'm gonna keep. Um, it's like a crazy coral color that I rarely ever wear, but it's fun for videos. So I'm going to hold on to that guy. And then we have a few more in here. So I'm gonna keep all my Wet n Wild. Um, I've gotten this down to all the colors that I really like. Well, maybe I can get rid of some. Let's see here. So this one is in the flesh. These are just such nice, super cheap lipsticks. I love these. They're so good. I don't know that I'll get rid of any of these. Um, oh, and that one's broken, so I guess I'll be getting rid of that one. This one was in smoke and hot pink, but that's broken, so we'll toss that. Wine room, this is one I really like. So pretty, that's wine room. And then what do we have here? Cherry picking. That's really pretty, but I know myself. Never ever gonna wear that, and I probably have something similar in my collection. So I'm gonna get rid of cherry picking as well. And is there one more I can get rid of? I feel like these two are like super, super similar. Which ones were those? So one of them was in the flesh, I think. And the other one was probably what? Was it Wine Room? Yeah, Wine Room and In the Flesh are super similar. So I think I'm going to get rid of Wine Room and keep In the Flesh. So I actually ended up getting rid of three. So that's not bad at all. Happy with that. This Clinique one, I never reach for. I got it in a Play by Sephora. I think I've worn it once, so I'm just going to pass that along. This NYX Butter Lipstick is pretty, um, but never reach for it. Just time I pass that on. This one from Real Her. Did I like this, or is this the one I didn't like? No, this is the one I did not like. I think this is a liquid lipstick, right? Yeah, I did not like this at all. It was patchy and dry, so I'm gonna pass that along. Um, Maybelline Touch of Spice, I'm definitely keeping, and I picked up a few more Maybelline lipsticks I'm gonna throw in here. I have two more from Bite Beauty I'm definitely keeping, and let's see. This one is from Ulta, and it is in the shade Petal. That's really pretty. I never reach for this. I don't know why. I'm going to keep that. I have a Starlux gloss that I never reach for. I've had it for a really, really long time. I think it's just time that I get rid of that. And then this Rimmel by Kate Hudson. It still smells good. I've had it for a really, really long time. I love the color. It's really pretty. Um... But I think it's just time I get rid of it. I never reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of that one as well. And then the last four that I have to add to my collection are these by CoverGirl. And these are the CoverGirl Melting Pout. What are they called? Melting Pout Gel Lipsticks. I'm planning on doing a review on these. So I'm going to throw these into my collection. So I'm going to go ahead and try and organize this stuff back into my organizers. <laughs>
Okay, so I think that that is going to wrap up part one. Um, this video is getting pretty lengthy, so stay tuned for part two and possibly part three, depending on what I can all fit in one video. So I will see you guys later. Bye.